start off with, I'm going to take the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Eyeshadow Palette. And I am going to take this shade right here, which is called MFEO. And I'm going to take it on this brush from Spicy Choco, which is number D1. I'm taking the fluffier, bigger side right here. Do excuse this eyelash throughout this tutorial. I know it's peeling up, but I'm going to fix that once I pop my other lashes on. I had to kind of cut the inner bit of it because it looked really strange and now I think I've ruined the lash, but it's fine. We'll just continue. So I'm going to go into that shade right here and I'm just going to start by working this into the kind of upper crease area. I really like this brush actually because you can kind of like lay it flat and blend it out. I'm just going to blend that out into the upper crease, just building up the colour as I go. Backwards and forwards, really light motions and then just kind of putting up towards the tail of the brow. Okay, and the next shade that I'm going to take is this one right here, which is called Buns, which is like a warm brown shade. I'm taking it on a Spicy Choco D4 brush, and I'm just going to blend this further into the crease. And then going back to that brush with the lighter shade on it, just to kind of diffuse the edges. And then to super smoke things up, I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called Chip, also on the Spicy Choco D4 brush. Oh wait, no, I'm not, that's not the shade I'm taking. The shade I'm taking is actually called Soda Pop, which is the one below it, which is like a very dark, almost black kind of shade. And what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you can tell, but this is kind of like winged out. It looks a little bit weird right now, but once we've got the face on, it will all kind of work together. I'm just gonna lay my brush kind of like diagonally and basically just use the shadow to create a really like accentuated wing, which will give a nice kind of elongated look to the eye, which I promise will all come together once we have done the face. I'm just kind of winging that out a little bit. Bit. I'm just putting it into the outer corner and the crease. Then I'm going to flip the brush around and just go back over the top of the really dark brown shade just to blend this in even further. And then go back in with the lightest shade just over the top of everything. I'm just gonna wet my shader brush. This is the Spicy Choco D1. I'm just going to spray the flat shade aside with some like primer water spray. This is the Urban Decay Rebound. I got it as a gift ages ago, completely forgot about it. Found it in my drawer today when I got my drawers stuck and was like, I probably should use that up because it's probably gonna expire soon. But okay, so I'm gonna take this shimmery dark brown shade right here, which is called 24-7, this one right here. And I'm just gonna load up my brush and literally just pack this across the lid. I'm not doing any cut crease, any like specific kind of thing. I'm just popping it on there for a nice smoky eye. So I'm literally just going to begin packing this onto the lid. This is quite a glittery eyeshadow, so it will take a little bit of time to build up the like intensity of the dark brown, but it is actually gorgeous. And it almost like with the wet brush, it almost has like a wet look to it, which I love. It is actually so pretty. I'm just gonna take the brush with the dark brown and just re-go over the edge. And then I'm gonna take this pencil from Natural Collection. This is an eye lines in the shade olive green. And I am going to run that through the waterline and then also just smudge it right underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the shade Diva, which is this shimmery green color right here on a Spicy Choco D3 brush, the short shade, short, <laughs> short shader side. That is a tongue twister. And I'm just gonna load up the brush and pack that on top of the green liner. And then just take the little brush that has the dark brown just to kind of like blend this little patch together. 
Okay, I'm skipping liquid liner for this look. I'm just gonna be straight onto curling my lashes just to give them a nice little boost. Then for mascara, I'm gonna take my Revolution Blowout High Volume Mascara. Funnily enough, when I first tried this, I wasn't that keen, and then for some reason today, I really liked it when I put it on. So I feel like it's one of those mascaras that you just get used to. I'm just going to load this up onto my lashes. We are gonna be putting on falsies anyway, but you, of course, could leave it without falsies if you are not that kind of girl. Just loading up my lashes with the mascara. Then for lashes, I'm gonna pop on these ones. They are the Peaches and Cream number 28 lashes. They are quite small but fluffy. So I'm gonna pop these on and also sort out this lash. I'll be right back to finish off the face. Okay, so now we're moving on to the face. I've just popped my hair back just so I can do all my things without getting in my face so to prime the skin i'm going to take my urban decay rebound collagen infused color complexion prep priming spray um this isn't something that i'll repurchase it was a gift because it has the collagen in it but yeah i'm just going to use this to prime the skin then for foundation, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in the shade 40WY. I've got a little bit of a tan on, I don't know if you can tell on camera, so hopefully this will match. Um, I do love this foundation, but I definitely do have to have like a bit of fake tan on for it to match me. I know I'm just bored of hearing myself when I edit, saying that it's not going to match me, it is going to match me. I'm just really bad at colour matching, <laughs> okay? Um, I am a qualified makeup artist, but for some reason when it comes to myself, I just go, that will do, make it work. I don't know, I just, I'm just not really that fast, I was bent down the neck. Anyway, that's my ramble about my foundation matching choices. So I'm gonna take this foundation and I'm going to blend it into the skin using my favorite sponge ever. This is the Spicy Choco Kush Blend Sponge. I promise this video is not sponsored by Spicy Choco, I just love their stuff. I do have a discount code, which is Siobhan in all caps, you can get 10% off and their products are really cheap anyway. Not sponsored, didn't ask me to do it, just thought I'd let you know. Just gonna start by patting this all into the skin for a nice flawless base. For cream contour, I'm just going to take this Primark My Perfect Colour Stick in the shade Caramel. It's just a nice concealer stick, I'm just trying to use it up to be honest. But yeah, I'm going to take this and use this to contour my face, obviously. I'm going to go under my cheekbones, around the forehead, down the nose, add some sculpting there. A little bit under the chin, under the lip. You know the drill. Then to blend it out, I'm going to take this Soeva 110 Face Shape Brush and just use this to buff out the cream contour. I always like miss from this section, so I've been really paranoid in like over blending this bit. Can you over blend? I don't know. For concealer, I'm going to take the Wonder 2 Last and Foundation Concealer. This is in the shade 20 Medium. And I'm just going to pop this on a Morphe M224 brush to apply it. I'm just going to start with my chin. And then the forehead and under the eyes, a little bit down at the centre of the nose as well. Not too much, just a little bit. And the side of the mouth. I've just been doing that recently. Don't really know if it does anything, but I like it. And I'm just going to kind of work it into the shape that I want the concealer to be, but not worrying about like actually blending it in just yet. We'll do that with the sponge. And then now going back to the sponge, I'm just going to dab this into blend out. To set the face, I'm going to take the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I'm not going to bake or anything, I'm literally just going to set my face. And I'm going to take a really kind of light fluffy brush, this is the Sigma Spotlight Duster Brush. I'm going to start with under my eyes, chin, like forehead, and then just kind of dust it, spotlight dust it, around my face. Love the smell of this stuff. Next I'm going to move on to contour and I'm going to take the Nip and Fab Contour Palette. I'm going to take the shade Latte or Ginger, I can't remember, it's the one with the pan basically. So I'm going to take that to contour my face, I'm going to put it at the same place that you put the cream contour and I'm taking it on a MAC 188 I want to say. It's a small duo fibre brush, all of the text is scratched off. So I'm going to go ahead and take this to kind of touch up the cream contour and just make it set more.
For bronzer, I'm going to take my NYX Medium Matte Bronzer, one of my favourite bronzers of all time. Actually, it is my favourite bronzer of all time. I love it. So I'm going to take it on my Sigma F25 Tapered Face Brush, which has seen better days. And I'm going to use this to bronze up my face in a three motion, a little bit across the nose as well, just because I like it. For blush, I'm going to take Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush, and I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks using my Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. Just tap off the excess on my hand. Now I'm going to set this all into place. That's very magical. All into place. Using my Urban Decay All Nighted Setting Spray. For highlighter, I'm going to take my PS Instagirl Iridescent Highlighter. This is in the shade Champagne, and this is from Primark. It's like a pinky pearlescent highlighter. And I'm going to take it on my Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush and just kind of put a generous amount around the cheekbone and kind of like up onto the temple. A little bit on my nose. Then just take the blush brush to kind of like blend this out. I'm just going to take a teeny little bit of the highlighter and pop that in the inner corner. Now we're going to set the brows into place. I'm taking my Revolution Pro Volume and Sculpt Brow Gel in the shade Clear. Then pop some mascara on my lower lashes. Oh, I love this part of the makeup when you're basically nearly done <laughs> and like everything comes together. For lips, I'm gonna start by lining them with Revlon's Color Stay Lip Liner in the shade Blush slash Rose Fard. Every time I link it online, I'm never too sure what actually like its name is. I think it's just blush, but it's like a pinky nude. And then for my lips, I'm going to take the Berry M Matte Me Up Matte Liquid Lip Paint in the shade Pose, which is a very light nude colour. I love the smell of these. It literally smells like ice cream. Just going to floof. And this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you like how it turned out and you found it somewhat useful. If you're getting inspired to be a bit more glamorous this holiday season. To be honest, I don't actually know if I'll make this much effort on Christmas Day. I'll probably just like slap a bit of mascara on, maybe a red lip, call it a day. Because you know Christmas, I just feel like you want to spend your day in your pyjamas. I don't know, maybe this year I'll get dressed up just to spend it in my living room. We will see. But yeah, I really like the way this look turned out. I had a little bit of problems with the lashes and I messed it up. It wasn't the smoothest of me makeup looks that I've done. I've got lash glue stuck in this eyelash. Oh no, I'm making it worse. We continued and when you continue with things in life, they go okay. Everything will be okay. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It means the absolute world. Check me out on Instagram. I'd really like to grow my Instagram in 2020. I feel like that's where I'm going to really focus my time. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye!